close to those folks all. Well, Jackson, it's been kind of a year since your first spring game. How do you evaluate your growth from last year's Grove Bowl to today? Yeah, I mean, the Grove Bowl is like a little part of what we do during the spring. You know, we're kind of limited on our play calls and stuff like that. But, you know, I kind of just take the whole outlook of my spring from this year to last year. And I thought I'd made huge improvements. Um, you know, I only turned the ball over once all spring. So um, I feel like that was a big part of my progression. I thought that, you know, last year I got into, you know, so at times to turn the ball over and, and made some dumb decisions, but I feel comfortable in the offense now to where, you know, I feel confident in my reads, the game slowed down a little bit. So I feel like I've made big strides and I look forward to continuing to develop. Would you say you feel more comfortable in the offense, obviously today than you did when you got here? Yeah, absolutely. Um, Kiffin was talking about how after today's game, it looks like the quarterback room itself is a lot stronger than it was a year ago. Just what has that kind of done for you and your development to have two guys out there who also are, you know, able to make big plays like we saw today? Yeah, you know, it's the competition is always good. Um, you know, for me, I, I see myself as trying to develop to be a first round draft pick. So, um, you know, I just try to keep getting better each and every day. And it's good to have guys like that to push you and, um, you know, we compete day in, day out. So it's fun being in a room with that. You know, Spencer, he's had a lot of experience. And, you know, me and Walker are kind of the younger ones. So it's good for us to, you know, at times take some words of advice for him. And then, um, you know, with them coming here and just being uh, new to the system, me being able to give them feedback off of, you know, our, our schematics and things like that has, has helped us all develop. With this being kind of the culmination of spring practice, when you look back at practice number one till now, have you seen kind of the improvement on the offense that maybe you were hoping for and looking for? Yeah, absolutely. I think sometimes it's hard going through spring when you get into, um, you know, injuries and stuff like that. Uh, and, you know, we have some key pieces that, you know, couldn't play today because they were hurt. But um, I feel like a lot of guys have stepped up and played big roles this spring. And, um, you know, I've had a lot of guys get better um, in, in just a short time. So it's, it's fun to see them progress. And you know, watch our offense flourish at times. It's it's really exciting. Jackson, what game last year do you think things really started to slow down for you? Um, I'd say just the back half it kind of slowed down a little bit. Um, you know, even though we didn't finish the season the way that we wanted to, I feel like the game started to slow down a little bit towards the back half. Um, you know, I was in a quarterback competition all the way up until like the third game, so. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of hard, you know, going into to game preps and stuff like that when you have to split the reps and you don't get all of them. So um, I would say, like, once I was able to just, you know, get the reps and be able to, um, you know, just grow off of just my experience. Quinchon had a, a nice day as a, as a receiver. Um, what, what element does that add to this offense when, he, when he's able to catch passes like that? Yeah, it's, it's, it's huge. Um, you know, he's, he's two-dimensional, three-dimensional. He's a great blocker. Um, he's obviously great in the run game, and he can catch, catch a ball from the backfield. I feel like that's been something that he, he needed to improve on from last year, just, you know, just little things like, you know, where's your landmarks on check downs? Make sure you're getting your width, and he's been great at it this this spring, and I, it's 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 huge to see that from him, um, especially because he's just he's so young, and you know with how talented and how good he is already, I think that that's going to be something that uh, brings his game to a whole nother level. Uh, Watkins had a good day. Uh, Marshall had a good day, and some of you know Henry and others on the other side. Just how has this month been, and kind of growing the relationship with those receivers, knowing that what they kind of have to fill with what isn't here anymore? Yeah, it's been big. Um, you know, with Chris being able to come in and, and perform the way that he has in just his, his first spring ever in college. You know, he graduated um, in the second semester last year and didn't get to Texas A&M until the summer. So this was his first spring being in a new system, and it's not, it's not an easy system. So being able to watch him flourish, it just shows how talented and how invested he is to keep getting better. Um, you know, JJ and Trig, this is their second year in this offense. And you know, I think that we all kind of expected them to take huge leaps, um, being able to play fast and you know not have any hesitation. So um, you know, they played great all spring as well. The two point play to end the game. How's that 
to end the spring mentally, physically? Yeah, it's, it's definitely fun. Um, you know, it was fun to have the opposing team in the back of the end zone and um, kind of create a somewhat game atmosphere. Um, you know, I'm, I'm kind of scarred from uh, two-point conversions from the Mississippi State game last year, so I just really wanted to score on that one. So I yeah, could, you know, kind of brush that one off a little bit. So <laughs> that, was, that was nice. We heard that the defenses were a little limited with what they could run today. Yeah, uh, yeah, just yeah. how fun is it to get out there and put up so many points and see just the, the offenses go off like that? Yeah, I think that it, it kind of gives the offense a big advantage. Um, <laughs> and I know all the defensive guys get frustrated about it. But, um, you know, for us, I mean, even for the offense, like we just stuck to like our day one install and our base play. So, you know, we stayed very limited in what we ran as well. Um, but I think it was all about, you know, our execution, and that was the main emphasis going into it, was being able to execute our base stuff and play really fast. So, um, you know, obviously it showed today that we executed and did really well. And I believe it was Jalen Knox had a pretty big uh, contested catch in, yeah. the, in the end zone for a touchdown, and you were one of the first people over there kind of hyping him up. Just how cool is it to see guys making plays in the spring like that? Yeah, it's huge. Um, I, you know, I think that Jay Knox is going to be a guy that surprised a lot of people. Um, not within the facility in the locker room, but you know, just on the outside with him, his first year being here, he, he wasn't eligible to play, so he just played on, um, you know, the twos field, and then um, was on the the scout offense during the season, and then last year he was battling injury, so he wasn't able to play to his, you know, his utmost potential. So it's been huge to see him play, and he's going to have a huge a part of this offense this year, and um, yeah, I'm just really happy for him. Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys.